Hello guys, how are you doing? Uh, welcome back to my study. I want for us to walk through the quadratic equation, right? And so I'm going to put the equation on the board and then the formula and we can work it together, right? Remember, you can always pause the video to take your own time to do the math, okay? And you could even watch the video pause it then try to work it by yourself and then play the video to see how good you have done so you can test yourself okay so let us jump right into it and then we can move from there All right. so let me put the equation on the equation is 2x square plus 3x minus 2 equal 0. All right, and this is going to be A, this is going to be B, and that is going to be C, right? So this, ver this coefficient is going to be A, this coefficient is going to be B, and this constant here is going to be C. All right, once you have A, B, and C, you are good to go. But we also need a quadratic formula. What is the quadratic formula? The quadratic formula is minus b plus or minus square root of b square minus 4ac all over 2a. All right, and we have already established our variables to determine which is A, B, and C. So we're going to move from there. All right, so we're going to just plug these in. What is B? B is three. All right, so we have minus three plus minus square root of, what is B? B is 3 again, 3 square minus 4, what is A? A is 2, and C is negative 2. Okay, doing good so far, right? Excellent. And it's all over 2, what is A? A is 2. Let's work it out then. All right. So I have negative 3 plus minus 3, th 3 squared is what? 9 minus 4 and a positive 2 give us 8, negative 8, and then you have negative 8 times negative 2 is going to give you a positive 16. And that will be all over 2 times 2 equals 4. Are we good to go? All right, great. Let's continue. Minus three plus or minus nine plus 16 is what? 25, and that is all over four, right? So here we have now, what is the square root of 25? The square root of 25 is going to be five, all right? So we have over here, Minus 3, you keep on working, right? Let me shift the camera a bit. Minus 3 plus or minus 5 over 4. And this can be written two ways. You have a plus and a minus here. So what you're going to do now is you're going to have minus 3 plus 5 over 4 and minus 3 minus 5 over 4 because you have the plus and minus sign right here right plus and minus so we have negative 3 plus 5 over 4 and we have negative 3 minus 5 over 4 all right so we have negative 3 plus 5 over 4 and negative 
3 minus 5 over 4. Alright? Negative 3 and 5 is going to give you what? 2 over 4. A negative 3 and negative... Negative 3 plus negative 5 is going to give you negative 8 over 4. And your answer is going to be... This can be half. You can break that down to half. And this you can break it down to... Two over one or two. You write two over one the same as two. Okay? And that would be your answer. So x will equal to half or two.